Asiatic. He damn sure don't have no man in his hand. He got the Asiatic woman. And it's, it's on our women to make our us more to go to a higher standard. Our women got to get in their rightful place. But the term Muslim Moors implies the works of nature involving the human body from conception to birth on the right angle motion of the square of 90 degrees. The great circle of the earth compromised the 360 degrees square by the number nine. Nine goes into 360 degrees 40 times, right? This is the number 40, which involved the Christian order of the clanism. I told y'all, Society of the Lily White World, which Senator Biblo of Mississippi had referred to over the Meet the Press program in 1946. I'm telling y'all, it'd be right in y'all face. Clan or clan implies the people who have agreed by oath or secret obligation to protect their society so to prevent legal marriage or, socialize, or socialization with people of heavy olive hue of skin referred to as dark brown. You see, should any of the women and grown sons violate the clannish code, they are subject to become a social outcast of the clan society, especially if they violation involves marriage to any of the women and sons of dark brown skin. I'm telling you, the secrets of number nine involving the woman and child and the 12 signs of the zodiac is referred to as the rejected stone. Thus, the stone that the sociologists of the Christian world rejected in the days of the old becomes the head of the corner in the atomic age, which is follows. The first month of the year, when I break down your zodiac signs, this is simple science, man. I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to do that. That's for school. I'm, I'm not going to sit and break on that because that, that takes too much time. But when I talk about the head, the neck, the lungs, the breast, the heart, and testes, the kidneys, the sexual organs, the hip, the knees, the ankles. And then when I talk about that unity, the law of harmony, when I talk about that knowledge of the zodiac involving the women, children, moon, sun, and earth, therefore being termed clock of destiny, the great span of one active life lies between women and earth from birth to what? To degeneration, referred to as death. All children come into this world by way of what? The woman. And pass out by way of what? The earth. We got to agree on what? Facts? I'm telling you. That's why one never knows by being told. That's why you got to take time out. You got to figure yourself out. You must covenant with the right people. M minutes, degrees, or meridians involving global geography as shown in the 12 signs of the zodiac, from Aries to Pisces, which describe the measurement of time mores. That's why we got to understand that the Earth axis to its orbit rotates at the rate of one degree every four minutes more. That's the whole analogy of above is below, which equals a geographical span of 60 miles mores. 60 minutes or one hour equals 15 degrees mores a geographical span of 900 miles more. That's why it equals 120 minutes or two hours equals 30 degrees. A geographical span of 1800 miles. And each sign of the zodiac from Aries to Pisces constitutes what mores? 30 degrees each, nobles. The sun remains in each sign of the zodiac a duration of two hours. That's why every Asiatic more, you get that natural sun, you need at least two hours of that natural vitamin D. You don't need none artificial. 12 hours a day equals 180 degrees, and 12 hours a night also equals 180 degrees. Thus, a day and night equals 360 degrees. Time changes every 15 degrees during the 24 hours of the day. And night, 24 times 15 equals what? 360. The number 60 is the key to geography. Therefore, you are advised always to multiply degrees or meridians or geography by the figure 60 for accuracy. For example, 15 degrees times 60 equals what? 900 miles. The second motion of the earth in harmony with the sun rising in the north hemisphere and setting in the south, which marks the month, the four seasons, and the years during the annual revolution of the 360 degrees. So when I teach this, babies love astrology and astronomy when I teach it because I connect them to the world. The vernal equinox or the summer solstice, March 21st and June 21st. 
That's why the Earth axis to its orbit evolved about the sun at the rate of one degrees per day, 30 degrees per month, 90 degrees in the course of three months, 120 degrees in the course of four months, 150 degrees in the course of five months, 180 degrees in the course of six months, which governs the spring and summer seasons on the Tropic of Cancer in the North Hemisphere, Moors. I ain't gonna break all the signs of the zodiacs down because I don't have time to do that. Excuse me, that's for school. I'm crash coursing you because this is my last one. This is my last teaching for the public. This is it. After this, there's no more for the public. When we talk about 40 degrees latitude, 45 degrees south, that's the basin of the world conflict. The Panagenia or Argentina and Melbourne, Australia lie on the circle of 40 degrees south latitude. The 45 degrees south latitude, New Zealand and Argentina or Patagonia lie on a circle, which is the 45 degrees south latitude. I hope y'all following this science, man. The cold mountain region, Cape Horn, Patagonia lies on the circle of 55 degrees south latitude from the top of Greenland to the bottom of Patagonia. A compromise of what? 135 degrees, which covers a geographical span of 8,100 miles. That's why you got to always multiply degrees in, uh, 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 that's why you always got to multiply degrees in geography and astrology by the figure 60, which is your master key of civilization. I'm giving y'all keys. I'm going to break this down. I'm crash coursing y'all, but somebody going to call itself an adept. No, no way. That's why this concludes in brief geographical location of the lower half of the world, which is compromised of more water than land. That's why you got to understand the upper half of the world is compromised of more land than water. So now, uh, now you have firsthand scientific knowledge of the direct cause of human warfare, bloodshed and destruction, right? The ancient Blue Nile and the White Nile River. The Pacific Ocean is the ancient Blue Nile River, right? The ancient ocean, the Pacific Ocean is the ancient Blue Nile River, referred read to as the sea of the raising sun. Spring and summer temperatures. I can break all that down for you. That's why the science of the 12 signs of the zodiac has proven that the sun shines equally upon the earth in the course of 12 months which designates one world, one race, the human family is equally dependent upon the other for existence, progress, and the pursuit of happiness. That's why the term Egypt implies productive soil in Northern Hemisphere, especially the United States of America and Canada, Upper and Lower Egypt. The white sons and daughters went to Egypt by the stroke of the pen. That's why the hairdresses of our foremothers and forefathers is the fans with the symbol of the star and the crescent or moon, without the symbol of the sword, is the headdress of the Moors in this hemisphere. That's why the Moors Fez represents the supreme heights of wisdom and practical knowledge of the science of the 12 signs of the zodiac, the universal law and constitution upon which civilization, which civilization is founded, Moors. The red fez of the culture Moors is worn by the white sons, wizards of the order of Christian, namely the Protestants, the Protestants when they wear the fez in secrecy. That's why the term Mason implies master, M-E-S-S-E-N, Nissen, or messenger, which simply means one who possesses scientific knowledge of the works of nature as shown in the 12 signs of the zodiac. Let me tell y'all this again. The term Mason in our science implies master, Nissen, M-E-S-S-E-N, or messenger, which simply means one who possesses scientific knowledge of the works of nature as shown in the 12 signs of the zodiac. Such knowledge makes one conscious of the fact that the universal mind makes him free to propagate truth contrary to secrets, falsehoods, and imperialism. It's nothing secret to me. When people talk about, they go, Allah, ain't no picture of Allah. When we show you, when we, oh, Mohammed, when we picture, when we show y'all the only begotten son and the son of God, I'm about to show you with the 12 astrological signs of it. Right here. There you go. There you go right there, the Son of God with the 12 astrological signs. There are your 12 disciples. There are your 12 astrological signs right there with the Son of God in the middle. Y'all ain't listening to me when we talk about science. Y'all ain't listening to me. That's science. That's science. That's science. It ain't no sun. That's science right here. That's the Son of God with all January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, all that, all that. The 12 zodiacs. That's why the Holy Quran also the real picture of Muhammad. Where? 
the Holy Quran, also the real picture of Muhammad. You know? Ah, oh, be quiet, phone. I gotta decline that. Sorry, y'all. But the Muslim have never painted the picture of Muhammad in the likeness of a son, of a woman. Such paintings is of the Christian artist of deception. Y'all gotta know that. Having read the complete geography of the 12 signs of the zodiac, that above symbol of the earth revolving about the earth or revolving about the sun gives you a tangible illustration of the latitude north and south of the equator. Let me show y'all this again. Let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this. Wait till we get the teaching when I get deep, 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 deep. When I talk about we get deep in it. You know, it's a deception. The curved lines, the curved lines as shown leading from the North Pole to South Pole describe the hourly rotation of the earth which measures the 24 hours of the day and are referred to as what? Longitude, east and west, or spring and fall. The circle lines, the circle lines as shown connecting with the rays of the sun describe the months and seasons of the year and are referred to as latitude north and latitude south, summer and winter, or north and south. Let me show y'all this again for you can get a good mental picture. See, ain't nothing, sacred, ain't nothing secret with me. It's sacred. I have the wisdom. If you want it, you must send donations to get the science. It costs because we print them. You should want this. The law of gravitation, what goes up also comes down. And in Christian religious mythology, the earth is referred to as what? Apple. Y'all didn't even know that, did y'all? The first slice constitutes the spring season, March 21st to June 21st. That's 90 degrees. The second slice constitutes the summer season, June 22nd to uh, September 22nd, 180 degrees. The third slice constitutes the fall season, September 23rd to December 20th, 270 degrees. The fourth slice constitutes the winter season, December 21st to, this, to March 20th, 360 degrees. Are y'all following this? I'm almost done. The myth of Adam and Eve and the tree of the forbidden fruit is also found upon the Earth annual revolution of 360 degrees. That's the circling Earth crossing the equator into the northern hemisphere on the Tropic of Cancer on March 21st and recrossing the equator into the southern hemisphere on the Tropic of Cancer or Capricorn on September the 23rd is referred to in the Christian mythology as the snake or the serpent. Y'all didn't know that, did y'all? And in science as the uh, serpentine. You got to be wise as the serpent, right? That's like the diagram that I showed y'all. One universal language also equals the power of the 10,000 words in terms of concrete facts, right? 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 So where do we go from here when we deal with this science? Uh, thanks for the donation, uh, noble Islam. Islam. But that's the power that speaks of the that speaks of the science. You know, we got to be wise like the science. That's that universal language. That's why these diagrams, they proven that the earth is all there is in life from the human family. It is both moon and sun. And because this fact, it contains all the animus of nature. Right. Right. That's why scientific fact or truth is sharper than a two-edged sword. So give back the European and the Christians, no disrespect, the negative uh, connotations of that. Give that back to them which that belongs. When we say give what to Caesar which is his, give Caesar his crap back. Give him his crap. We already have something. Let them have their crap. Let them take it back with them. Namely, the church, the Christ and Mary, the idolists. The names such as Negro, color, black, African, Indian, yellow, or red race, or, or people, and accept your own culture as shown in this science. That's why we got to go down in global history as winning the greatest victory over the evil tradition. No disrespect of white, I don't even want to call it supremacy. I just want to call it propaganda. Because ain't nobody, this ain't super. Once you know science, that's why I only like to call stuff supremacy. I just like to call it propaganda that the world has ever known. Because if it was supremacy, we would know. Ain't nothing supreme about that garbage. 
it is true that the Christian control commerce and the atomic bomb, it's a lot of stuff that we don't know. It's a lot of science that we don't know. We must be willing to understand the scientific symbols of the zodiac. When I break science down, when I break down the universal symbol of Islam, what the, what the square represents, the 90 degrees, the fourth part of the circle, the, the, with the symbol number two, the level or negative symbol. I break all these signs and symbols down. We must be willing to do this work, Moors. This is a study, this is a hard work. That's why when people be talking about Yaqub is an Arabic name. Yaqub is referred to in the Christian Bible as Jacob. Most people didn't know that. Thus the sons and daughters of the head tribe of Yaqub finally caught up with the civilization on August 6, 1945. It's in their book, Names of Deception and Confusion. That's why you get crossed up because you're being confused on names and names, is, is, it causes confusion. So we done, man. School getting ready to start, man. It's getting ready to be amazing. Like I said, if you miss out on it, you just miss out on it. I love everybody. But hey, I told y'all this day was coming. And people didn't believe me. You know? That's like I tell Morris, if you have any doubt of the history of what I'm saying about this science of your forefathers, uh, you might ask some educated person, a white person, anybody, or your school teacher, ask them this question. And I'm going to leave y'all with this million dollar question. What was the correct name of the peoples of North America prior to the revolution and the union of 1863? That's the million dollar question I want y'all to ask anybody. Write this down. This is the million dollar question. What was the correct name of the peoples of North America prior to the revolution and the union of 1863 before they were renamed Indian, African, and Negro? And see what they tell you the right answer. Because the right answer is more. Guaranteed. The right answer is more. I guarantee you this. We don't know stuff. That's why the mystery of Babylon or the Tower of Babel represents the 48 states of North America divided against itself. But we don't know. We get caught up in religious stuff. Just like when I talk about Haram of Beef or a Prince Hall, the mystic name, I can touch deeper in that in the science aspect. But that's it, man. One who possesses knowledge of astrology, the zodiac, does not have to rely on a belief system to be saved. Astrology prepares one to be saved by the way of knowledge minus a belief. The Nas, the atheist, the infidel are all Latin terms meaning knowledge or to know and prove that which you know is a practical scientific manner minus relying upon a belief and an opinion. A belief and opinion are not absolute sound for ones to rely upon for perfection and economic and social progress. You know, it's not that ain't what it's about. If the 12 signs of the zodiac compromise the circle of 360 degrees of absolute universal uh, perfection of the science of geometry, geometry has never told a lie. And 90 is not a mystery and neither a theory. 12 is not a mystery or a theory or an opinion or a belief, or a theory. These two figures speak one universal language in terms of facts, Moors. Numbers 9 or 90 and 12 are definitely not debatable. Science of the Zodiac will automatically expose every undercover act of mankind universally, including the so-called moral doctrine of organized dictatorship over the human minds and reasonings. That's why these Moors, they seek, they keep you with dogma. I tell y'all, two schools of thought, there are two schools of ideas in the United States of America, namely theology and masonry, and this for the masses of the USA to maintain and increase their liberty to freedom. I'm done. I'm done, Morris. I love y'all. That's it. It's too much. I can go all deep with this, with this clock of destiny and bring us out of shallow grays, you know, but that's for students because the public, my public teaching it ceased today. This is the last day. But I love y'all, Moors. I love y'all. Class get ready to start on February 9th. Become students and learn. Islam, Islam, and Islam. Peace.